All right, we are heading into Site X. That's me! Peeps! Peeps! <laughs> oh, look where we are. Peeps! <laughs> we are here at King's Dominion. And we are here. We, we did not come for ho opening weekend of Halloween Haunt. There was a big storm coming through. This is about two hours for us, so it was like... Plus. Two hours plus. Okay. So we didn't feel like we wanted to drive for, a, you know, it to be crappy weather. So we're here on the second weekend of Halloween Haunt. We're here on a Friday night. Um, the park opens at six o'clock, um, but I'm actually gonna put it up on the screen here. Not everything opens at six o'clock. Even though the gates open and they let folks in, only a few of the houses are open at six. Most things, scare zones and some of the outdoor houses don't open till seven. So we're here at six, uh, actually about a quarter till six. There's a line to get in the gate. And so we're gonna hop in it and uh, get in the gate. we're gonna bring you to Halloween Haunt with us this year. And now we wait. Okay, so while we wait, let's take a minute and talk about how King's Dominion Halloween Haunt is a separately ticketed event this year. So in prior years, you bought a daytime pass um, and it got you into Halloween Haunt. This year, it is a separately ticketed event. Unless you are a certain tier of annual pass holder, then it's included in the cost of your pass. Otherwise, you buy a separate daytime pass and a separate Halloween haunt pass. I think they have combo tickets. Um, and during the day, I think the park shuts down around five and they kind of gather up everyone in the front of the park and then they reopen it at six. And so um, today, since it's a Friday, it was not open during the day. It's only open at night. So that's why we're here at six o'clock for the start of Halloween haunt. And the daytime event is the Great Pumpkin Fest. So it's peanuts like Charlie Brown and Snoopy themed. And uh, the nighttime event, Halloween Haunt. Check that out. They have like creepy eyes. Oh, they just went away. Another oh, coming back on the Eiffel Tower in the uh, front of the park. Very cool. And we're in. We are actually in King's Dominion for the first time in a few years. We seem to come once every few years to the park. But here it is, Halloween Haunt. Very exciting. So they do offer Nobu necklaces for 16 bucks. Uh, you can purchase a necklace and the monsters won't scare you. They're, they're, so that's if you are here and not wanting to be that scared, that's your option. So here is a look at the map. So the green things are like partly outdoor houses. The orange things are all indoor houses. And I think, um, Trick or Treat, which is number two, Blood on the Bayou, which is number three, and Condemned, which is number four. Those are the ones that open at six. Everything else opens at seven. And number one here is where they perform Blood Rain and Conjure the Night. So it's right in front of the Eiffel Tower and the Blood Rain is kind of the opening ceremonies for the scare zones. And that takes place around seven o'clock. Before we kick in the scares, uh, we actually just met a guy named Ryan. Super nice viewer of the channel. Nice to meet you. But we wanted to take a look at some of this Halloween haunt merchandise. They have this cool photo op right here in the front of the park. So here's kind of a kid shirt. Seems kind of mean. We've got some more generic-y like jack-o'-lantern shirts. Here is the Halloween haunt hoodie, which honestly, pretty slick looking actually. I actually really like that. What's it show on the front? Let's take a look. Halloween Haunt. Oh, it's not a zip up. It's more of, it's a, 
a pullover, but it glows in the dark. That's cool. They also have mugs, shot glasses. They have this like tie dye shirt that also glows in the dark with the same cool design. Some more mugs, some magnets, um, some exo exo dolls. Oh, that's cute, mummy. It is. Over here, as we enter the park on the right side, is Cornstalker's Blood Harvest. Now, this is primarily an outdoor, like, haunted house, and so it doesn't actually open till 7, like I mentioned. So we are walking by the stage where Blood Rain will be at 7 o'clock, and right across from it is Grain and Grill, and right next to Grain and Grill, they've got a bar on the side, and the bar has specialty drinks. Um, I want to drink your blood, um, toxic waste, a rum runner, a purple people eater, some mocktails, canned beer, and more. So it's about 6.10 right now. Um, we are gonna try to hit Condemned, cause it's one of the houses that's open and it's the closest one to the front of the park um, before the Blood Rain show. Here it is. First house of Halloween Haunt 2023 for us. Condemned, the Inn at Darkside Manor. Creepy guy. All right, there is no filming inside the houses. We're not here as media, we're here as guests. So we'll tell you our thoughts when we get out of the house. Okay, so we just got out of Condemned. That's it over there. Um, I thought it was fantastic. It was great. Yeah, it's like the story of this wedding that went horribly awry and the ghosts are trapped in the inn at Darkside Manor. Um, lots of special effects, lots of misdirection, they give you, like, well, super creepy. It is, they give you like sort of from the floor up. Yeah. Next to you. Next and there's a lot to look you, at. Like, in front I mean, of you. Yeah, yeah, I mean the facade, the, I mean, the theming is all fantastic. So like, that is a great, great yeah. start to the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marley? Jacob Marley? No, it's not, well, it could be. So we just walked through Uprising. It's about 6.26, so not open yet, but um, we're heading to Trick or Treat over here in this area somewhere, because that house is open. But walk, walking by the pit at Country Kitchen, um, they have Bewitching Bites here. 
So they've got a turkey leg, barbecue sandwich meal, uh, street corn, garlic parmesan, street corn. That sounds tasty. Next up, we are heading into Trick or Treat. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because uh, you know the park is just opening. Whoa, look. Uh, creepiness walking by. Um, okay, so because the park is just opening, we walked through that house alone, entirely alone. They got you re <laughs> I mean, it was terrifying. You are not easy it to scare. It was just non. Stop. When you are alone, it is. It, they were just nonstop. All over it. it was a great experience. This yeah. was a lot of fun, and God, there's so much to look at in these houses. Oh yeah, there's I mean, a lot of detail. Yeah, lots of different themes. I mean, obviously, it's like witches and Halloween, but they also had like voodoo and stuff in there and dolls. I mean, that bed that was rattling, like the exorcist. Yeah. I mean, it was like it was crazy. Yeah, that was Very unsettling. Yeah, that was like, really it took cool. Took my breath away. A yeah. Times. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it is uh, seven thirty. We're gonna head to Blood Rain. Six thirty. Six thirty. We're gonna head to Blood Rain. <laughs> There's a cast on their way to the to one of the haunted houses and including a few manis bushes mixed in there. Menace bush.
Andre! That's not Yes, we are. Checking them out. This is what I make pie with. Would you like to join the produce? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Only the freshest. <laughs> Hi. 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 Ready to go through again? Yes. <laughs> nice of you to join us. Next up, we're going to check out Grimwoods. Bear, 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 
grizzly bear. <laughs> Check this out. They have specialty made beers for King's Dominion. Tom Bailey, Tropical Lager, a King's Brew IPA. And back there, they have a red rum beer on tap. All from a local brewery center of the universe. Alright, so since we last spoke to you, we have been through Grimwoods and Cornstalkers yes. now. Grimwoods, eh, you're, 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 you're entry level. Yeah, it's haunt. not too scary. It's, you know, it's probably more family friendly. Yeah. Slow um, burn, kind of, you know, the yeah. little digital. Yeah. People really liking the Cornstalkers behind us. Alright, so what did you think of Cornstalkers? It was good. It was good. It was unsettling, I felt like. Yeah, yeah. I like Cornstalkers. It was eerie. It was like... This is what it's like on a farm, deep, <laughs> deep in the cornfield. I don't know. It was like, ugh. Yeah, it was super yeah. creepy. Yeah. They do a really good job at what's real, what's not, you know, between the mannequins and not. And super claustrophobic because yes. you're kind of walking through a cornfield the entire the time. Turning. Yeah. And, and the stocks are super high, super tall. We're going to scoot up here because I think someone's trying to take a picture. But, all right. So we are four houses in. Okay. We have two more to go. Um, Fear, which I think is new this year, maybe. Or maybe it's a retooled house. We'll find out. And Blood on the Bayou. And we also have to check out Site X, which is a scare zone, and Cleaver Brothers Carnival. So let's do it. All right, we are heading into Site X. He went down my spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh. That's me! Thieves! Okay, so we just went through fear. Yes, what did yeah. you think? I liked it. So It was good, it was different. I don't think we should give too much away, right? I mean, well it's it's the about things, your fear. Yeah, things right? people are afraid of. Yeah, so they do a good they have like different themed rooms depending on different fears. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job with it. I liked they, it. Very good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was just everything, right? Yeah. Usually like the, yeah, yeah. It's good. Alright, next up what has been my favorite scare zone in years prior, the Cleaver Brothers Carnival. I am so glad it's back. I love this scare zone.
the stage, holding it down back there on the two wall, playing all those bass lines that make you go boom, boom, boom. Mr. Man! The little model to a big top brass. He's going to get it. Check it out. It looks like they have an actual fortune teller here. Oh. The one, the only, Bucky uh, Brain. I think that's his name. All right, dudes, that does it for us from our first visit to King's Dominion Halloween Haunt this year. We really had a great time. The scare zones were all great. Everyone who came up and said peeps to us or said hi, so nice. It was really awesome meeting you guys. I mean, we met some folks that have been watching us since 2015. That was awesome. I mean, please, definitely say hi when you see us. So, if you liked this video, you want us to come back to King's Dominion, come back for Halloween Haunt again, or come back for any of their other events, definitely hit the subscribe button on this video. Hit the little notification bell so that you know when we release more content. Give this video a thumbs up. That helps us know what content you like. And leave us a comment down below, especially if you saw yourself in this video. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And we'll see you in the next Take care.